Here we have four radios of mine that I figured we'd do a little scan shootout with. Of course, we've got the classic UV5R, the UV13 Pro, the Yaesu FT1D, and ultimately the Quan Sheng UVK5. First, we have the UV5R. Of course, it's a classic here. And as we expect, the scan speed is not super fast here. And ultimately, I always leave wanting if I ever want to do scanning with the UV5R. So it's not my first choice of my radios. As you can see here, we have 1955, not a great time. Next, we've got the UV13 Pro, uh, also a Baofeng radio. And this one isn't uh, any better, really. Actually, it's worse. This radio is not good. For being so much newer, you would think that it would be faster, but in my experience, this is one of the worst radios that I have. Not only can you not use Chirp to uh, program it, but it also just has speed issues all around. The interface is not responsive. Next, we've got my most expensive radio. Yeah, it's a little old now, but it is still an incredible radio, the FT-1D by Yesu, and it is a barn burner when it comes to scanning compared to the first two. And last but certainly not least, we have the Quan Sheng UVK-5. In this case, this is the UVK-5-8 or K56. It's a great radio. Actually, one of my favorite radios that I have now, and it is really, really fast for the price. Probably no surprise here, but the uh, Yesu FT1D is our fastest radio, as it should be. It is literally 10x the price, or at least it was at the time of release, of any of these other radios. It's an incredible radio, and I believe you can get them pretty cheap now, relatively speaking, around $100 uh, on the used market. A close second on this list of my radios is the Quan Sheng UVK5. I love this radio. It is my new favorite HT. The versatility with all the custom firmware that you can put on it. It is basically the first open source radio that I've seen in this level that has so much support. It is an incredible radio, and if you have an extra $30 hanging around and you want to buy an HT, it is the one that I highly suggest. So much versatility in such an inexpensive package. If I can give you any advice from the results of this video, which was not a surprise to me, is avoid the UV13 Pro by Baofeng. It is a horrible radio. The only thing that it has going for it is the fact that you can charge it via USB-C. Other than that, every single aspect of this radio is bad. It is slow and unresponsive, and you don't have the ability to be able to program it through Chirp. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. I will talk to you later. This is John, KG7AJM.